Hello everybody, my name is Roland Masson. I'm with Grey Owl Engineering. Today we're going to talk about multi-phase pumping, which is something I've been involved in for close to 30 years now. Multi-phase pumping, although many people have heard the term, is, is not that well understood in the industry. The first thing we got to look at is what is multi-phase pumping? And what multi-phase pumping is the pumping of oil, gas, water mixtures, different types of applications, typically used in conventional oil applications where we're trying to reduce pressure on wellheads to increase production. It can also be used on gas gathering systems where there's a lot of liquid present that needs to be compressed and sent to a central processing facility. So there's a number of different technologies that are available out there and that have been available for, very, for a very long time now, upwards of 30 years. One of the first technologies used was the progressive cavity pump, which is shown here. One of the other technologies which has been used commonly in offshore and su even in subsea applications, which is, which is pretty wild to put these pumps on, on the ocean floor to pump emulsion, oil, water, gas up to surface production facilities. Example of that pump is shown here, which is a twin screw pump. The product I'm most familiar with is called the mass transfer pump, which is a product I was involved in the development back in 1987, 88, and 89 where we took a downhole rod pump, modified it, put it on surface, and used it to reduce pressure in gathering systems in Saskatchewan. This technology is now was patented by Imperial Oil many years ago, and then, but since then a number of different manufacturers have, have built different versions of this pump. So we've talked about a lot of different multi-phase pumping technologies available. There are other technologies available as well, including centrifugal pumps. When selecting a multi-phase pump, there's, there are many factors con to consider, but by far the two most critical ones are your flow rate, your pressure. Those are the ones that determine how big a pump you need, what your horsepower will be. The other very important factor is your gas void fraction, which is how much gas you have in the product at inlet conditions of the pump. Some pumps handle this better than others. The other things to consider are temperature and contaminants. Temperature, obviously, when we're looking at SAG-D projects, we can get to temperatures which approach 200 degrees C, which limits what we can use, what metallurgy we can use, what elastomers we can use. As far as contaminants, contaminants can include solids. Some products are better suited for solids than others. Other contaminants could be high H2S contents, high CO2 contents, and other products which are corrosive. So if you have any questions on multi-phase pumping, just give me a call. I'll be glad to have a chat with you and answer any questions you may have.